Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install and mount a porcelain undermount sink to a Corian countertop. The first thing we're going to need to do is cut the hole. I'm assuming you already know how to cut the hole and all that stuff and fabricate a countertop. This is just a different method or a method to mount the sink to the bottom of the countertop using uh, sink clips, brass inserts, and a few screws and wing nuts. The first thing we need to do is find the center line on both the cutout and the sink. This sink doesn't have any center lines, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to take this square and I'm going to set this sink back on the drain a little bit and I'm going to prop it up with a wood block so it's, it's nice and flat. Then I'm going to put my straight edge, I'm sorry, my square on top of the sink and I'm going to eye down the middle of the square down to so it centers up with the drain. I also want this to be lined up with the overflow hole right here. Now once I think I'm pretty much in the center of the sink, I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to measure to the outside edge of it. You can just pick a spot. It just has to be the same in both, both sides. So this is 8 and 5 eighths. And that's 8 and 3 quarters. Okay. That's perfect. So you don't want this thing swinging back and forth because you want to look right down the center of this and you want this drain and this hole to be in the center of this. Then we're going to mark it with your pencil on each side of the square. Because this has some thickness to it. So you want to find the center of this. So we're going to mark both sides of it. And you're going to take away the square and you're going to put a line right here in the middle of the two lines that you just marked. Now we've done the sink. We have to do the same thing on the countertop, but it's much easier because you can go to the back side of your edge, just place the square back there, and try to find the middle of it. I try to find the center of the, the drain or the, the faucet hole. And then you're just going to divide the two. So this is 16 and 3 quarters. That means this needs to be 8 and 3 eighths. So I've done that. And again, just take your pencil. and mark a line. You're going to flip your sink over and you're going to line up these. Line up this line with this line on the countertop and do the same in the front. And then you're going to reach underneath it and feel the front side and the back side at the same time. And make sure you've got the right overhang because you need to center the sink in that opening. Hopefully it's already centered side to side. So that's perfect right there. And then you're going to feel the sides of it so that, because you want it centered, and sometimes these aren't perfect, you know, like perfectly accurate. Now, those sides are good for me too. So this worked out. Now take your hands and feel all the way around to make sure you somewhat have the same overhang. Porcelain sinks are notorious for being not perfectly oval, but your sink hole is always an oval. It's always a nice oval. Okay, now we've got the sink where we want. It's all centered up. I like to put these wood blocks here so that the piece doesn't move around. You just make sure those center lines are lined up properly. And you're going to do that all the way around. We have these sink clips here. You're going to need some washers. These are the brass inserts that we put in the countertop. These are the wing nuts to clamp down the sink clip. And these are the screws, the machine screws or bolts. But the first thing we need to do is lay these out. So I just lay them out on the corners here, if you will. 
I do not like to put it too far up here because I don't want it to hit the front of the sink, or I'm sorry, the front of the cabinet. So that, that layout's pretty good, just like that. Now what we need to do is we need to mark that. Now that we have the seam clips marked, I'm going to drill these holes with a quarter inch bit with a collar, same size as the brass insert. I'm going to use an air hose to blow out the dust as I drill. Now we have the holes drilled, we need to insert the brass insert into the hole. I use this tool, it's a setter for the brass insert. We're going to use these clips, these sink setter clips. Some sinks come with them, we buy these, I'll put a link in the description below for these, like probably on Amazon. Just center that over the hole. Now you're gonna take your machine screw, take your wing nut, and just screw that on all the way. You use your flat washer and start screwing that down into the brass insert, but you don't want to go down too far. You only want to go down to the, essentially the bottom of the brass insert to spread the brass insert open to make a nice tight fit. Do not use a drill on these unless you're really, really careful because this thing will go straight down through the countertop and put a hole in the top of the countertop. So after you put the screw in, you're gonna take the wing nut and you're gonna tighten it up. And it doesn't take much, just cinch it down like that by hand, should be totally fine. Do it on all those four corners, and that's all there is to it. Then you have a mechanical fasteners that will hold the sink in place, especially while the silicone dries. Once the silicone dries, that's going to be the primary uh, attachment. But that's going to be pr primary way that this sink stays on. And plus it seals the top of the sink on there. And that's all there is to it. That's the simplest way I found to mount a porcelain sink to a bottom of a Corian countertop. If you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching.